Well, well, well. The nap got me longer than I thought. Welcome, 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 everyone, to the Monday Night live stream on Saturday. Again. Last it time continues. I'm going to call it that. So annoying. I did change the thumbnail. Thank God. <laughs> all right, guys. Today we're going to be talking about whatever you all want to talk about. The viewers drive the show today. Yeah. So get your questions ready. Start firing. We've really got not a lot to talk about as far as an intro. Um, what's new in the fish room? Lots of fry yeah. um, that are growing up. I think. Big. I don't think there's been any new spawns since last week. Um, well, not that I'm aware of. We'll see, though. You never know. There could be something mm -hmm. somewhere mm -hmm. that I just haven't seen yet. So, But our T-bars are getting large. Our Signatus are getting large. Mm -hmm. um, couple bushy nose plecos. You know, everyone breathes those. And uh, Draken Felsai yeah. Fry. Are they still doing well? Yeah, they're doing great. Great. They're getting that bigger. makes me happy. Yeah, I'm really happy about that. Still no Epistle spawns, though. They really do Ugh. not like my water. Yeah, they're not. Which I, I was surprised that Draken Felsai spawned. Like, because of the things I've heard, they need to be lower in softer water, whatever. And they did just fine. But those Epistos will not give. We did get. Oh, yeah. 24 so new tetras, the Imperial Lapis Tetra. Super excited about those. Yeah, they're great. Um, and they're nice and small, so we get to watch them grow out, which is the best thing ever. Yep. Super um, good deal. Any other new fish? I don't think I don't so. Think so. I'm so excited about those. So 24 is a perfect group, especially for the tank. I want to put them in like, oh, I can't wait for them to get bigger. Uh, Leo with the $5 super chat says, here's my puffer tax. Mm -hmm. More puffers. I did put puffers on the thumbnail just for you. Yeah, there are puffers there. Uh, P.S. Sure. If you don't like puffers or African fish, you can kick rocks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kick rocks. Fair enough. Thank you, Leo. Also, if you guys are curious on who is streaming and when, I actually uh, really recommend Fish Fam, the website. Fish Fam link, and it'll tell you everything you need to know about who and when and, well, not why, but uh, Fish Fam. Look up the website. Lots of useful information if you're looking for more streams to watch, more questions to ask. Highly, highly recommend it. It's a good, good service. Uh, what if I like puffers and kicking rocks? Well, that's just the double whammy. Personal preference, huh? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, I mean, who doesn't like puffers, though? I think that that's the fish that I would get the most comments about from people who didn't keep fish when I showed them pictures. Everyone loves the puffers. Like, that is a hands down, whether they care or not, they care about a puffer. They're just cute. So here's an interesting question. Anything catch your eye from the Westbots new fish list this week? Yes. Funny you should say. Funny Bumbler. you should mention that because uh, better pug Pugnax. Interesting. Oh, I like Pugnax. Um, I'm going to pull it up for you right now because it's a very rare fish that nobody keeps. Mm. Uh, which, I mean, they're $50, I so I yeah. get it. They're not going to be flying off the shelf. Uh, where am I at here? Firefox, Firefox. Oh, I'm over here. Wrong screen. There we go. The watermelon distichotis here is Jesus. one of what? I love that you say distichotis. Distichotis. My favorite thing. <laughs> Continue. I mean, who doesn't like a good chode? Okay. Distichotis species, red and black. This is actually the common name, a watermelon distichotis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't stop it. It's funny every time. <laughs> the unfortunate, excuse me, I'm sick. He's I've been sick, sick since over a week now, so forever if you're wondering where the videos there are no videos last week that's why because i've been in bed sleeping yeah, he needs to be in bed and there's a nice uh, clearing of the nostrils okay. for you all i hope that's not annoying he's fine but it's a shame this fish is 50 dollars because they are yeah. so cool they don't get big but they're like this big lingering round sort of torpedo <sighs> with just beautiful colors yes i love torpedo they have fish. lipstick <laughs> i mean what i cannot say a bad thing about yeah, this fish they really they're friendly look that bright and it's just a shame that they're that's the price point. I mean, that's it's a, that they're they're just rare fish. And they're going to be expensive. Uh, but yeah, this thing when I saw them, I was so excited. I've I've loved these fish for such a long time, and uh, you know, just to it, they just don't get that much love. And uh, I was really excited to see these, as well as all the lasers are back in stock, but. You know, I, I just love myself a good Luca Moles. Luca Meles. Uh, how would you pronounce that? You're asking me? 
Yeah. Luca Mellis. Okay. Just saying. I really love this quarry. I know it's only a $9 fish, but I don't know. I just love the really dark band across the eye, the dark dorsal, dorsal fin. So I was a little excited to see that. Um, we're, we're actually out of space. So uh, there's not a lot we could do. Margite are actually really nice. That's a really nice fish. Um, we have jelly bean tetras here. These are really awesome. Highly recommend them. Um, but yeah, there was just lots of cool fish. Everyone got new, cool new fish this week, though. So I was pretty excited about that. Lots to look at. And when you're sick and you're just sitting at home looking at stuff on the Internet while you're laying in bed, uh, it, was, it was a fun thing to watch and, and see all the new fish. Uh, the Lucamoles look awesome, but are selling fast. I would make sense. There's a lot of those quarries that are in, under that $10 range that are just so magnificent. And I don't know why they're not more common. Um, Leo wants to know, how are the three spotted Congo puffers doing? They're doing great. They are just like any other spotted Congo puffer. They want to eat constantly, but so does every other fish in that tank. I feed that tank because it has the, um, Satana Perca leucosticta in there and they have to eat a lots of times. So it works out for the puffers because I feel guilty when I feed everybody else and don't feed them. So I'm constantly shoveling snails in that tank and they, they're a little, uh, lollipops. But they're they have a lot of attitude, but they're fun to watch. We are kind of redoing the fish room again, so there's not a lot of not a lot, not a lot of new fish in our world, uh, except those tetras. I think those are earmarked for the 125. That's where they're going. Where the uh, puffers are, so we're gonna have a nice big school of 24 imperial tetras. They'll look really nice. They look they're one of those fish that like so we have four adults and the rest are all really small. But the four adults, when we got in the car to take them home, I caught out of the corner of my eye one of them in the sunlight. And it just, it was like, it was like switching on a light. Like the, the colors just turned on. So it's really, I think with these fish, a good light matters. Like you need to have a, a nice full spectrum light for these guys. But they are, they're my favorite shape of Tetra. And what shape is that? They have that like kind of that blunt head and mouth that piranha-esque kind of look like a pug face a bulldog face i don't know and they have a they're not you see what i mean like they're they're yeah dan actually has really good pictures of these yeah, so these are great pictures here. these are really accurate pictures too the males have the red on the fins but the females are in my opinion just as pretty i mean even without that red i think that color is really nice the yellow and the blue because it really is like it's like a yellow that fades from green to blue. It's really, really pretty. And with the, the hits of red on the males, which I think we do have one adult male. So that's exciting. I just, I've wanted these fish for a long time, but the price point obviously kept me away because they were over $20 per fish, which let's be honest, they still are over $20 per fish. Just not where we got them. We were very fortunate to. They're very small. They're very small, but that's fine. I don't care about small fish. I actually prefer buying babies than yes, adults. I will take a baby fish over an adult fish 10 times out of 10. The so. thing I want to say about this fish is that blue sheen. Mm. This is why I say Dan has a really good picture of him because yeah. it's really hard to see that. It is. And the fact that every single fish in this photo has the blue sheen. Um, and it, it's, it's, again, it's one of those things where the, it's just way better in person than on a picture, but... Just oh. a beautiful tetra. I'm really excited. We got 24 of them, so we're gonna have a nice big school of them in a 125, Super and funny. it's just gonna be awesome. Yep. So uh, Emily said they got more Satana perca leucosticta. Yeah, the shimmer on they're so even at that young age they're super pretty. Ours have a lot more color already. Like they are looking. They're also chunks because, like I said, I feed them chunky. <laughs> they are chunky, which I want them. I'd rather them be chunky than too thin, which they are a lot of the time. So I'm fine with it. Oh, I've got to. We've got to. We got to talk about this. Let me go back here. Um, what you're talking about. So this fish right here, um, the oh. white lip goby. Yeah, they're really cool. I put these out in the tub last summer. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, and I just assumed that they didn't make it. Uh, when it came down to break down the tubs, we searched and searched and searched and never saw them. Took and it wouldn't apart. you know, this spring, when we're moving fish back out to the tubs, there it was. This thing lived in... Who knows? Over this thing overwintered outside. I mean, we had like five inches of ice on these tubs, and there was only one, unfortunately, but it was the female. And I don't know why. That's just crazy to me. Like I realize they're they're in a colder climate naturally, but to go that cold and survive 
was mind blowing. I was shocked when we found this fish in the tub and I don't, I don't know how we didn't see him. It makes me feel bad, but it's just, it's just bonkers. So now I have a female. I need to find a male and, uh, Emily, I don't know if you can just get males out of here, but uh, I do need a male. Um, I don't know. I just think that's a really fascinating story and it's uh, a testament to just how hardy some of these fish are. I think fish get kind of a, a, a bad rap for, I mean, they die all the time. They do. Uh, but they're also like just really hardy and they just, I don't know. People, I think people are a lot more worried than they need to be. Fish are a lot more robust and obviously it, there's, you know, it depends on the species as well, but I just think we don't give them enough credit. Yeah, they, they are in nature and I think we may forget how much it can swing in nature even in places that are you know tropical you're you have a lot of a lot of give in the weather so carson says record store day and a stream i don't know if my day can get any better good to see you i always like hearing when people have a good day makes makes my day better where you got all male rummy rasboras at uh i don't even know what I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't have that fish. So are you asking like where you can buy all males? I don't think anywhere. For those type of fish, I don't think they really sex them. I mean, to my knowledge, unless you're buying them from somebody like a breeder or someone, you know, like a hobbyist. New friends, I want some of those new, or I want one of those forms of gobies. Lots. I'm telling you, there are so many cool gobies yeah. hitting the hobby right now. Um, I just remember five years ago, there was like three species that were available all the time. And now there's, oh man, it's just crazy how many uh, gobies are hitting the hobby now. Emily says, I have so many pelvic acromas crebensis. <laughs> it's insane. I always did. <laughs> always. I brought it on myself, but I always had a lot. That's what happens with those fish. Christopher says it's almost impossible to get female rummy nose rasboras. That's funny because the first time I ordered them wholesale, I got two males and like all females. And I was so angry. <laughs> That's funny. And I was like, what is, I've got two fish that are colored, two males, and the rest were all females. And I never ordered them again. And now like everything I hear, it's like, it's impossible to get females. And I'm just like, man, I wish I would have known that sitting on a gold mine. And I didn't even know. Hip hop hillbilly said, got me some new fish today. Three peacock gudgeons and an orange dwarf Mexican lobster. I love peacock gudgeons. I only have one left, but I got it. They're just such happy fish. They're always like fanning out and darting around. Love peacock gudgeons. Very underrated. I don't think enough people keep them. And I don't know if you just have the one dwarf Mexican lobster, but if you do just have one, I highly recommend getting a group of them. They are so much fun to watch in a big group. Plus, they're darling in general, so more of them are even more darling. Almost all wholesalers only sell male rummy nose rasboras. That makes mm. sense. I mean, I think that that's a couple of the old fish stores that I used to go to only sold like male or female. So when I inquired about them like five or six years ago, uh, back when I got all females, um, I was told that the wholesalers or the big farms keep the males. Uh, specifically and they separate the females and uh, it's nice that that has changed since then uh, what else do we got going on here I want some of those got that it's pretty easy for... mm -hmm. is it possible to breed tetras if you're like an average kind of fish keeper certainly Certainly. I, it's not hard to breed a lot of these species of tetras. Um, they're egg scatterers. So the trick is to, to keep them from eating their bait or eating the eggs after they scatter them. Uh, what you don't have to be a master breeder or an expert breeder to just put something in that catches eggs, right? Just get a Tupperware container, put a screen over it. The eggs will fall in the screen. Take that out, put them into a different, different take, uh, tank, and then raise them up, hatch them out, raise them up. Don't need to be an expert to do that. Nope. Nope. Uh, we get a mix, but we get mad when it's heavily male because the males get stuck in the net easier. <laughs> That's interesting. Hmm. wonder why. 
Uh, okay, it says, want to try brine shrimp for the fry when they're bigger, but don't want to spend a lot in case I hate hatching it out. Thinking 10-gallon bottle. Uh, wait, 10-gallon bottle? But it's only $15 more for the 100-gallon? Oh, well... I mean, you kind of said it yourself. If you don't, if you don't like it, then you're gonna have a lot of extras if you go for the big bottle. But I mean, I'd get the big bottle, and even if I didn't like it, I would just run through them. I mean, you can hatch them every single day, so it's usually uh, better to go with the better. I mean, I, we're we're always like buying bulk, so lots of food gets. Chelsea, food. why you look mad? Do I? That's what he says. Huh. I don't know. I used to get that a lot. Turn that frown upside down. It's because I don't just sit and smile for no reason, I guess. People didn't like that ever. Graham's not. When I see G, I'm saying gallon. I don't care what it is. <laughs> I'm always I thought it say was gallon. Graham, but I didn't want to. I'm, I'm always going to say gallon. Know. Like, It's just the way it is. I cannot see G and not say gallon. So there you go. Uh, you can put them in the freezer. I've had eggs in my freezer for like three years now and I still haven't, I've still, I've had eggs and I have like eight hatcheries. Still have never done it because it's just one more thing. I've just never needed to. I've, I've yet to spawn something that needs brine shrimp. But again, I am not a master breeder. So what do I know? Maybe if I was feeding the adults brine shrimp, more things would spawn. I don't know. I tell you what I do love to do, though, is having a brine shrimp tub outside. Uh, did it last year. Haven't started one this year. Um, but feeding adult brine shrimp is pretty fun. And you just set it outside. Just it, and it's put salt in it, put some eggs in there, and they'll, they'll do the rest. And then, then they will constantly keep replenishing themselves. My di diamonds jumped out a couple years ago. Still the only fish to jump the tank. I'm assuming diamond tetras? That sucks. I'm getting distracted by fish. Ow. Barchy gobies. I don't think we have 100 gallons of bride shrimp eggs here. I don't. That would be funny. That's insane. Even there. Yeah. Uh, what else do we got? You can put them in the freezer. Yep. What y'all eating for dinner tonight? Uh, I don't know. We had burgers for lunch. That was pretty good. I don't know. I have no idea. It's water change day. Refilling the 125 as I'm listening to you guys. That's a good use of the stream. If you guys got to change water, now's the time to do it. It can take a lot of time to change water on a 125. We do it. Yeah. And we're going to be doing it tomorrow. Tomorrow is water change day here. Uh, Regina Flange says, I planted swords, pogo, and val in my discus tank. After about eight or nine weeks, I can't see my fish. And they are... Eight inches. Eight inches. That is a good problem to have. Lots of plants, eh? All right. Do you do a filter? No. Or just air stones? No. Uh, when doing... I don't do either. It rains here so often that I usually don't have to worry about it. Um, we get constant water changes. It's raining right now, even though it was 70 degrees out, not just an hour ago. Now it's cold and rainy and dark. So, yep. I mean, we'll have to top off the tubs once or twice throughout the summer because once in a while we'll go like a month without rain, but it's pretty uncommon. Yeah. Regina says, Chelsea, we had in and out yesterday. Oh, God. Keep bragging. I would really love to have Did you ever that. figure out where the one here is? No. Because it's not close enough that I can just go there, so it doesn't oh. matter. I miss in and out a lot. I don't like thick burgers. Like, I don't like a thick patty. I really don't. And that's why I like in and out so much, because it's like the perfect, perfect ratio. So good. Did you see next week they're going to have fantastic Congos? Yeah, I, f I stopped getting excited about those just because I can't get I mean, they're going to be $40. I already know. $40, it's, $50. It's just the way it is, and it's like every single time. We need a sponsor. We need a, a West African fish sponsor to sponsor our fish tanks. <laughs> See, there was a point in time in my life where I would have been like, buy them all, but I cannot. We have no room like there's just no I don't even know where I'd put them to be honest like I I'm sure I could figure it out but it's like everything's 
got a lot going on. So, Kevin, what's going on, buddy? Says, hey, what's up, guys? What is your favorite Danio? Uh, seen some Longfin Leopard Danios today, <coughs> and they look pretty sweet. Mine's the Orange Hatchet Danio. Um, I'm also really fond of the Kyathith Danio. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's like K-Y-T-H something. I don't know. Uh, but the Orange Hatchet Danios have become my favorite. Ooh. They're putting it in and out in Beaverton. Maybe maybe that's what it was. I'm trying no, to remember. No, Beaverton is really far. Oh. My friend that I went to high school with is a pilot for Alaska, and he lives in Tacoma. And he was he posted something about one, and I don't know if it's like by him or – somewhere he flies out i don't know I'd, I'd have to ask him but oops he would be the one to know because that's where i got the info from i do not like in and out but i love the miss habit what the what? oh the habit burger yeah habit burger is really good um what's funny is the one that was in my area the first one i ever went to was the very first one to ever open and it was in like placer county which was like 20 minutes outside of sacramento but uh, they have very good food. But I noticed that when a new one would open, they'd be good for like a few months and then the quality would like go down. Like a lot of places, you know, they they perform really well for the first few months. But I love Habit Burger. Really good. Their shakes are amazing. I like that their menu is small. It's like in and out. There's not a lot on their menu and what they do, they do well. So I dig it. I didn't realize that was just in California. See, there's a lot of things I realized when I moved here. I'm like, wait a minute, you don't have this? We were very food rich in Sacramento. We had a lot of food. All right, here's the orange hatchet. I, you know what? To be honest, I don't even know if this is technically a Danio, but it's called an orange hatchet Danio. So, but it's see, if you look at the mouth, it's got the upturned mouth, which is why they're calling it a hatchet. But. It's definitely not a hatchet fish. Yeah, it it's, it's a Danio. Kind of, it's so confusing. But they're so cool. We have them in a 20 long. And unfortunately, we lost a couple. So we only have a couple left. But uh, definitely on the list to replenish. And uh, I did a poor... Let's see. I chose poor tank mates. They did not get along and lost too many before I noticed. So, you know, that happens sometimes. We all make mistakes. Ooh, Emily, those green beans are delicious. Those were one of my favorite things. <laughs> They're so good. California Fish Grill, I think is what it's called. They, it was a pretty good restaurant that we had, too. They had really good tempura green beans with, like, a teriyaki sauce. Oh, my God. They were so good. Uh, and I don't know if they're technically Danios, but also the Royal Hill Trouts here are pretty freaking awesome, too. A giant. I want to do a giant school of these in an outdoor tub. I think that'd be pretty awesome. But uh, there you go. The orange, orange hatchet. Coming back. Oh, you like the squeeze in, huh, Leo? Yeah, that was, they got popped because they weren't ADA, ADA, compl or AD, yeah, ADA compliant. And there was this guy that he still to this day goes around Sacramento trying to ruin businesses like especially in older parts of Sacramento he literally he's he's in a wheelchair himself and I'm not saying anything negative what I'm saying is he deliberately and people have caught on to what he does he deliberately starts these lawsuits to try and bankrupt or ruin small businesses like it's really sad because a lot of times they can't even a lot of this stuff is grandfathered in they can't bring it up to code without raising it so like it, it just was a whole thing but that's what happened to the original squeeze in is that guy went there and was like I can't get in and they're like, we've been here for, you know, X amount of years. We have no idea. It was it was going to cost them more to make it compliant. So they had that's to like move. a new niche on social media. And I hate it. Yeah, it's really um, on how to take advantage and, and sue businesses. Like there's mm -hmm. one guy like his whole whole shtick is getting hired at jobs and then suing him as soon as someone makes any type of inappropriate joke. He's like, I get ten thousand dollar settlements every job I go to. And that's that's all he does. That's that's to me, his that's career. A scam artist. Like you're a scam artist and you're getting away with it. Like that you're that's a level of scamming. I don't know. In my mind, it is like you're that's so wrong. Like, ugh, get a job. Like, I just stop it. That's crazy. Speaking of jobs, if you know, his fish fam link is um, he's throwing down a lot of links, all of our affiliate links. And uh, we appreciate when you guys click on those because it supports us at no extra cost to you. And uh, so, you know, if you're going to go shopping at the co-op or the West Bot or Dance Fish. 
uh, use those links. Sometimes you'll get a discount, sometimes you won't, but uh, either way, it does help us. And again, it's that no additional cost to you, so we really appreciate it. There's my sales pitch for the stream. And also, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit the like. Thanks, Matt Gray. And good to see you, Matt. Hey, Matt. Hope you're doing well. I feel like I hardly ever see you anymore. I know, busy guy. Sad days. Hopefully, you're closer to your dream of Wyoming. Uh, Robert, I do not think spray bars create too much back pressure on canister filters. I had them on, I used them with a couple of my FX4s, and I don't think that it caused any significant issues there. But that's just my experience. I don't know if other people have had different experiences, but I only only canisters I ever used besides a, um, God, I don't even remember what the first one I ever got was. I can't. I just had FX fours, so I don't. I didn't notice any issues. But I only used spray bars for a very short time because I just it was too much. It's really no different than people that turn use like return <laughs> pumps for sumps. I realize some of them you can adjust the flow, but a lot of them are like a hundred percent or none. Yeah. And they get stifled by the spray bars, and it doesn't hurt them either. The really the only thing that really hurts them is running them dry, and mm -hmm. we've all done that. Yeah, everybody's done. Yeah, everybody's done that. There's actually a local company here that did a whole study on running them dry and how much of the life, like every time, what was you the study? They were like, every time you run it dry, it takes like 90 days off of the life of the pump or something crazy like that. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. When they're already crap to begin with. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I'd ever buy another canister filter ever, really, unless I, no, I do a sump before I do a canister. I I will say there's some of the, like, the hang-on, like the smaller, uh, my my favorite canister filter is actually the really small Phoenix canister filter. It's mm -hmm. like the FX360 or something, uh, and I've used that one so many times. The 306? Is it 306? No, that's the uh, Marine Land. Mm -hmm. It's 306, oh. isn't it? I don't know. Maybe. I think it's a 360. I get all the numbers for the models of things they have that they then have new that I can't keep up with it. It's a lot. Next week we'll be listing real Patrick's Rasboras and they look incredible and are two and a half and three inches. This is the best time <laughs> of year for fish keeping because we're coming into the spring and we start getting all the cool species. Yep. It's a good time. Definitely like save your money for this time of year. <laughs> And then we can ship so many cool again. stuff. The best time to ship as well. I've got some cherry shrimp being shipped out. And uh, we sold a lot of cherry shrimp last week. It was very nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fluval also has the 306. But that, that new canister we just bought was Marine Land, right? Yeah. It's 306. That's what it says, 306. Because a lot of it is how much it processes, you know, with every, like, that's, so maybe it has something to do with that. I don't know. Could be. I don't know. Who knows with these archaic companies? Everybody's yeah. going to go broke in this hobby or in this industry. That's the way of it. They want you to be broke with lots of fish. That's okay. Just raise shrimp and get your money back. Yeah, that's true. It's really easy. I hate to say that, but it's like you don't do anything but feed them, and it's not even that big of a deal. Caitlin says, I've never realized how hard it was to stock a big tank. Too many choices. Oh, I have no problem. I could help you out. What do you need? It's what are you What are you looking at now? What do you? Because I can give you some signal. That way I could live vicariously since I don't have any more room for anything. Because I, especially like a 75 and up, like a 75 is one of my favorite tanks to stock because, God, you just it's so easy. Like, they fill up quick, though. I mean, with me. And also back to Robert Johnson's question about creating back pressure with spray bars. You, you, got, you, there's not an exact science, but you do got to create a spray bar that's comparable to like your flow, right? So you don't just have a spray bar with two holes in it from an FX6, two like small little itty bitty holes, and you're running an, an FX6 through it, right? Like you want to like try to adjust it. Like if you feel, and that's the nice thing about spray bars, if you feel there is too much back pressure, just drop the water, drill another hole. Still too much, drill another hole. You can really like mess with a lot of these things if you have issues like that. I just never had an issue. So, uh, when you're ready to sh ship me some shrimp, let me know. Uh, whenever you're ready, just you let me know. Yeah. That's you just he gotta let me know. He doesn't Venmo. I well, do have Venmo, unfortunately. I don't use it. I had to use Venmo when I went to Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. October yeah. It's the other one I don't use. Uh, oh, yeah, you do have it. That's right. Zell or whatever that stupid one is. Oh. I prefer PayPal just because I've been using PayPal since the 90s or whatever, but I don't 
I don't understand like the need for Venmo when there was already PayPal. And the fact that it's owned by PayPal yeah, or was by, created. They, but they don't talk to each other. So that's well, annoying. Like a social media money sharing app. Like when I go on Venmo and like see like this person sent this person it's money. So it's weird. like, why would you want someone to know that? I don't want anybody to know what I'm doing at all. Ugh. It's very odd. You can make everything private though. So give me another fish to add to a 60 with green fire, tetra, panda quarries, and two bristle nose plecos and mystery snails. Oh, wow. That's I see that one. new friends. Mm. Huh. Okay. Um, well, Call a spotted puffer. I, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I would, I would do a Congo spotted puffer, but if you want like oh, you got mystery snails, after. I would do some, you could do some Cupid cichlids. You could do some like, Bolivian rams in there, I think, would be really cool. Um, you could do. You're definitely missing a cichlid type. Yeah, fish you in need there. the personality, right? You've got like the background stuff, and that's great. But I feel like the personality would come from cichlids, and I love cupids. I, you know, you could do like a Guyanacara would be really cool. You could, I think, you could do a lot of those. Like you could, oh, you could do keyhole cichlids. Man, that'd be cool. I love keyholes. I think they're super underrated there. Or a pistos, the, like in the background. Yeah, you could do a pistos. I think a personata would be really cool because they're larger. They're one of my very favorites. I think our personata might be my absolute favorite that we have. They're full of personality and they're larger. Um, and you could probably do a couple pairs in a sixty. You know, I think that wouldn't be too crazy. But yeah, that's there's a lot. You need a cichlid of some type, in my opinion. And I think that like the cupids, the Bolivians, anything like that that stays in that like three and a half inch range would be great. You could get like six of them in there. It'd be sweet. Kenny says my problem is plants. I need more of them for my 180, but I need dummy proof beginner. I mean, just load the thing with like crypt when dead eye. There is something to be said. It's a very basic plant. It's very easy. You just give it some root tabs every once in a while, and it's not even necessary, but it will definitely help out. Um, but, man, a tank with a huge crypt garden is just something else to see. And there's a lot of people are like they snuff their nose because Crypt One Dead is like the most basic crypt ever. But it's it is for a reason because it's easy. It looks good. It, you can propagate it. It's just it's just a rad plant. I love them. That's what I would recommend. Nancy's Madakas are really starting to lay eggs everywhere. Hopefully they'll fund some summertime fishy purchases. I'm sure they will. That's a great thing. I mean, it depends on your area and the demand for them, but I think that a lot of people are getting onto the rice fish now. That's a great thing to have. I think that's a smart thing to try and spawn. And you don't even have to try and spawn them, right? They just do their thing. Pretty easy. I think it's real interesting. Like I'm a I'm a complete noob when it comes to rice fish, so it's been a it's been a lot of fun learning about all of the different i mean there's rice fish that are like hundreds and hundreds of dollars a piece and yeah lamays get very expensive it's it's like this whole other world it's like we have guppies and endlers right there's all these different strains and colors and like i had no idea that it was that way for rice fish too but it is and now they're starting to get a little more popular here in the u.s and we're starting to get some more strains and rare stuff more colors and it's pretty fascinating it's a lot I of fun i started getting really into rice fish a few years ago and my selection my options were very limited i i had a hard time finding them at all when i did find them they were very weak like they were just not healthy and so i'm really excited to see like i was so excited when the wet spot got those really great shipments of rice fish because it's nice to see that fish done right a lot of times it's not so new friend says i think most cichlids want warmer water this tank is 74 no, 75 that. that is perfectly perfect. fine all of your fish where they're they fine. come from have cichlids in the water right. your tetras your panagories bristlenose mm plecos -hmm. they all have cichlids in the, they in be, the same ours, water our tanks are at that that's what we have our tanks at so they'd be yep. fine all of them are doing great we have uh the gymnogeophagus balzanii you could do a group of those in there you could do like four to six of them in there that'd be really cool ours are teeny tiny but they it's so funny because the male there's a couple males but one of them is just on fire already at an inch and a half bullying everybody it's really funny they're not really that mean they just like to push each other around yeah we heat our fish room at 75 yeah that's, um most tanks are at about 75 so we have the thermostat at 75 the top level tanks the third third tier up there they stay about 78 the middle tanks the middle rows those are about 75 and the bottoms are, are low 70s and it really allows us to move fish around to what they prefer but also um it doesn't seem to really matter a lot like low 70s fish do just fine mm -hmm. 
Now that's a very generalized slice. So obviously, don't keep discus at seventy-two. I would obviously. I, I would mean. say if you dip down lower than that, then yeah. But you know what? I will say you could easily keep dif different gymnogeus gymnogeophagus in there. Like you could do the balzanii, the rhabdotus. You could do tear pura pura. You could do lots of different uh, gymnogeos because they they don't need a heater at all. They're fine at those temperatures. They can be at 74, 75, but they could also be lower and be fine too. So those are good options. Yeah, hill streams. There's so many cool different species of hill streams out there. There's a lot um, of hill stream loaches. Many. Yeah, but I mean, 74, 75, like rainbow fish do X, like so many fish are in that, in that area. So I, I wouldn't be worried about it at all. I don't know what he's... Re I, I'm not sure what Caitlin said, but I see that Alex said Congo tetras in a school go well with Congo spotted puffers. They do. Or you could just buy some of the Fantastiques. They're getting them mm, in the wet spot. Or the Prashardi. Yeah. Gelestio petersius Prashardis are very similar, I think, to the Fantastiques. Did you just sneeze? Every time I say, say it. Say that again. Gelestio petersius Prashardi. I could never do it. They're beautiful fish. Regina Falange says, I'm obsessed with Hillstream loaches. Lots of cool species coming out there too. Mm -hmm. There's so many. It's crazy to me every time they look. A lot of them look really different too. They're very cool. Different patterns, different colors. I love the hits of color on some of them. I think it's lovely. Oh. Uh, Emily says I have hill streams coming next week. Well, maybe we should go there next weekend. What are we doing next weekend? There's nothing that I'm aware of. Hmm. Have to think about that. Mm -hmm. Christopher says, Emily, you're Jamaican me crazy. It happens, <laughs> man. It's that time of year, like he was saying. You start to really mm -hmm. start to really see some good stuff coming out. And I'm just I'm I guess I'm on a high from getting such a cool Tetra for such an inexpensive price. But I think there's a lot of good stuff and a lot of uh, things that I've noticed are a little cheaper, a little bit, some things. So that's nice to Prices see. Prices definitely seem to be coming down. Mm -hmm. Finally. It's a nice trend instead of the opposite direction, you know. We should come next weekend. I mean, we could. We Just got to gotta check with the dog sitters. So yeah. Make sure we got someone to watch the dogs. As long as that all jives, then shouldn't be an issue i said i was gonna figure out a week i'm to come down emily but i've been sick all week and i've just been sleeping and not doing anything i will say he's better now but i think he's at that point where all of it's just getting its way out all the funk you know what i mean so he'll be fine <laughs> i will say if there's anyone local i've been thinking about selling my breeding group of cw 123s which is my yellowfin quarries uh, i don't want to ship them they're nice big adults and I don't know. I just don't want to, I'd rather keep them than ship them. So sorry to non-local people. Uh, but I'm not. I'm not asking an arm and a leg for them. I've got about a dozen of them. Maybe like ten bucks each or something like that. So if there's anyone local, um, let me know. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that was such a long pause, but pregnant pause. Yep. <gasps> You're pregnant. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't even say that out loud. 22 chili rasboras. Nice. That's a lot. I like. I love big schools of things. That's always nice. Sniff some cayenne pepper. What? Wait, why? Clear my sinuses. Oh. No, I've just been feeding him mucinex. <laughs> I yeah. Monday Monday and Tuesday, I didn't even get bad. out of bed. It was bad though. He needed it. Like I don't was, know what was going I, on. I don't think either of us are huge proponents of taking medication. However, when it gets to the point where you're that uncomfortable for that long, you have to just. To be fair, it. I don't think it did anything. It. <laughs> I think it. Helped Other than like uh, you know some psychosomatic like. I can hear him, and so like when he's asleep and I'm awake all the time, and he it helped a little, a little. I'm just blowing snot out all night yeah. as I'm snoring. Uh huh. Spraying <laughs> down everything. It was rough. Those oh. right there is what I want. Good looking epistos. What were they? Dang it. I don't know. I always miss whenever anybody references an episto. I'm like, what? Because we the have The name so comes in at the bottom of the screen. It's very hard to see. And I did that on purpose because I'm a jerk. And I was like, oh, if I make it harder to see, people are going to ask. And then I'll get some, uh, you know, engagement. But that was clearly a mistake. Fresh honey. Uh, yep. There's a thrick this. Oh, they did, that's that's another thing that 
I'm pretty sure it's the McMaster Eye. Everyone, the McMaster is, Eye on this it is. loop is, they look really good. I'm pretty sure that's what. And I have, what, two variants of McMaster Eyes, yeah. and they're just beautiful. They really are, like. Oh, the nice Borelli Eye. Eye. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, the female Borelli Eye. Yeah. Yeah, we've done I'm this telling before. you, you should look at the Inca 50s, man. Yeah, look God. up the Inca 50. They, The Inca 50, I think, are the most attractive. My favorite, personality-wise, are the Personata. The Inca 50s are a little shyer. But. What is Dan's fish discounts code? It's Steamfought Aquatics. That's it. 10% off. Keep it simple. Uh, it's 10% off your first order, and if you've already ordered, uh, you'll still get like 5% off. So you still get a little something. Regina said, I have about 18 Kubatai mm. Rasbora from the Wet Spot. All fabulous. Didn't lose one. I've had them for at least four months. I have nothing better than Kubatai. They are the best Rasbora. Everyone are. goes nuts for chili Rasboras. I don't get it. Kubitai. I don't get it. Like, they're they're pretty, but those neon green Rasboras. For me, it's the Kubatai mm. and then the neon blues and then red. Like I, the, See, the, I, I love the neon blues, but they're just too sensitive. It's Mine too did really well. Hard I don't to know. find I, good quality neon To blues. be honest, the tank they were in, I kind of neglected a little because it was my pee puffer tank, and like they just did so well. I felt like when I left them alone, and and they just did very well with my pee puffers. I don't know. I had a good, I had a good batch, I think, though. But Kubatai take the cake. They're just they they look like they're like oozing like the secret of the ooze. They're like that neon that neon green is just unrivaled. Ross says, Regina, I breed them, and they will act so cool in big groups. I had 100 oh, I plus bet. and a 20-gallon grown out. How cool would that be? Gotta love big schools. Wish more people kept them. I feel like I need to. we need to make a trip to see Ross's fish room because he breeds all the cool stuff. You've got all these dope tetras that I'm like, yeah, let me, let me, let me come have a look. <laughs> I want to see them. I want to see I, since I'm just really grateful that my Tetra love has returned because for so long I was so anti Tetra and now I, I like being excited about all these different Tetra and I love that other people are breeding them also because it's going to help us all out. M Myers, 1987 says, good evening, everyone. Late night greetings from Belgium. That's rad. I haven't got a, a Belgium person in a while. I was like, what are Belgian people called? I'm not sure. Honestly. Me neither. I'm not positive. I feel kind of bad that I don't know. Uh, Leo wants to know what's another good West African fish. You should get another type of pelvic acromus or similar. So what do you have, Leo? You have the he has Drachenfelsi, right? You have Drachenfelsi. Do you have uh, Signatus? He has the other one. Or, right, I think he has Signatus. No, you actually. have Signatus too. So what do you want? You get some Nanochromus. Like, have you ever had Nanochromus, Leo? Because they have uh, Splendens, Splendens, right, yep. at the wet spot right now, which Splendens are the prettiest ones. So if you're going to get them, those are the ones to get. And I feel like they haven't been available available for a while. I've seen a lot of the um, Pyrilis, but I haven't seen any of the uh, what's it called for a while. So jump on that. They're awesome. A lot of personality from teeny little fish. Colente. Oh. Oh, Okay. Mount yep. Top Puffer Keeper, what's up, buddy? Says African butterfly cichlids are nice. The Thomas Eye? Yeah, I've had the Thomas Eye. Uh, they're really pretty when you have. I had a couple males that would go nuts at each other, and they looked very pretty when they did. Uh, Christopher says, I bought four pairs of Goiter River Rainbows, four pairs of Super Red Rosy Barbs, three different types of Hillstream Loaches, and a big school of Danios, a pair of Flame Paradise Fish, and five male Odessa Barbs. Whew, that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. Belgians. Well, that's pretty obvious. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> Where, what am I? Catching your, like, tiredness? You're catching my stupidity. No. <laughs> it's contagious. Oh, my God. Oh, Kenny. That's a... I... If I'm being honest, I think that... I think a dwarf crayfish would do okay with the EBAs. I don't think they'd do well with the rams. I don't know why. I just feel like the rams might... They're too low. I don't know. Too low. Too, they hang out too low, I think. The EBA are all over the place, and they're big enough that I don't think it would be an issue, but it depends on how big they are, too. If they're full-grown EBAs, then I think you'd be okay. Also, I just want to go on a little side tangent here. If you're in this stream and you're outside of the U.S., let me know what country you're in. I'm always curious. It's always fun to see where people are from. Uh, you know, nothing wrong with the U.S., but we're all from the U.S. Boring. The large majority are from the U.S. So uh, if you're outside of the U.S., let us know. I'm always curious. I had someone from trinidad and tobago comment once that was pretty cool yeah that is cool i think it's awesome that like 
because there's only a couple channels I've ever really followed from other countries. Like a lot of them are spider channels and stuff because a, a lot of invertebrates are kept over. They have a lot more in Europe than they do here. Um, so I watch like those type, but I never really watch fish channels. Mm -mm. It's funny. But the inverts in the UK are crazy. Uh, the EBA would be able to eat the CPO craze. Yeah, I yeah. could see that. I actually, I thought about that for a second, but then I was like, you know, if they're well fed, I don't think they'd go after them, to be honest. Like, I'm going off of all the generations that I kept that I raised. They wouldn't have paid any attention to anything like that, but they are capable, yes, of doing that for sure, once they're bigger. So you'd have to just be mindful, I think, and keep an eye on it and see how it goes if you're willing to risk it. But I'd try it. I'd just keep a close eye on it. Does the People's Republic of California count? Is it still a republic? Because it sure doesn't seem like it. <laughs> hey oh, ah, it's from Vietnam. That's cool. Nice. Another a place I would hope to visit at some point. Um, I had a I had bought a group of twelve unsexed Odessa barbs from Select Aquatics and only ended up with two males. Greg from Select Aquatics picked me out five males to add to the group. I thought that that's was cool. very nice. Yeah, he's a nice guy. When people are willing to do that, it's very nice because I had that happen one time at Imperial and I, it was the first time, it was a long time ago and it was the first time I ever asked for something like that because it wasn't offered as a sexed pair or sexed at all. And I asked for a male of a Ooh, certain species Canada. and they sent it to me and it was very nice of them. Canada, what's going on with your guys? It's food prices up there. Holy, I thought it was bad here. Holy smokes. Oh, I'm getting a little. They're paying like $7 for a gallon of milk. It's but ridiculous. I, they've always been expensive, Canada. Always. Mm -hmm. Every time I bought a book, I remember looking in the inside of the jacket and seeing like, whoo, man, this is expensive in Canada. <laughs> Every time. Um, what Did I say CW? CW123, C123s. I always say the wrong one. They're the 123s, the yellow fins. Ugh, let's not say his name, Leo. Ugh. Um, I'm not sure how many I have. I would say it's about a dozen. Um, but they're in a tank with lots of like uh, spawning mops and things like that. So it's hard to see how many are scooting around. But I'd say about a dozen. Riding from Ottawa, Canada. I did some intros for your channel. Nice. A few. Oh, Kevin. Yes. Kevin used to do all the crazy intros. Oh, that's funny. Oh, man. That's I was funny. wondering what happened to you. Man, I hope you're doing well. I, Greetings, I was, friend. I love those. Thank you so much for doing those. I mean, I was... So now, now I get copyright. Back then, you <laughs> could do like thirty seconds and not get copyright. Now it's just instantly, so I How's can't it use them anymore. going in Ottawa? What's going on up there? Anything but cool? But thank you so much for that. I love that. That's funny. Bob oh. and Chelsea, do you think doing a trios works for West African cribs? I think that's what that's supposed to be, cribs. Uh, no. I would just do pairs. Um, every time there was any type of situation where the male, my male cribs never went after each other, my females would fight to the death. Like if there was a tr a love triangle, the females would go after each other until they were beat to hell. So I'd be concerned about that. Could have been a Sheila. <laughs> I was once away from being an Australian. My parents moved to Mel from Melbourne to Santa Barbara, and then I arrived. That's funny. That's a big that's a big change, huh? Or that would have been a big change. I was close to being dead because my parents oh. were in an airplane when Mount St. Helens erupted. Oh boy. So that's a little <laughs> That's rough. Like I was just born late. <laughs> nothing and I was born in where the place we all grew up, my family, so nothing crazy. Seven dollars for a bag oh yeah, it's in bags, bag of milk in the eastern provinces. Oh, oh my god, bag of milk, that's right. So there I don't know if anybody knows about the Kroll show, but the Kroll show they did this spoof of Degrassi called Wheels Ontario. <laughs> and he would make fun of the bag of milk all the time. And I was like, Really? A bag? That's not the worst idea in the world. <laughs> I was like, that that kind of makes sense, honestly. I like the bag idea. Kevin says you're very welcome. I've never stopped following you. That's so cool. That's like, really nice. Not a stalker. <laughs> old school. Old school. I feel like you're like you don't give off st stalker vibes, so you're fine. You're uh, Kevin, are you still doing that kind of production stuff? I'm like, I'm not asking for anything. Obviously, I would just, I'm just curious if you're still because I what think, are you up to? I think if I remember correctly, they were, he was doing them as assignments for school. Oh, that's awesome. I, I, I hope I'm that's not dope, misremembering that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I think that's what it was. I love that. That's like when I worked and I got credit for working in high school. That's awesome. 
Oh, Emily, like a lot of firstborns, I was a mistake. Oh, I was a bi- I, my parents did not get married until I was almost a year old. I thought old. that said fish rooms, like a lot of fish rooms. Like a lot of fish rooms. <laughs> Big mistake. I'm going to tell you right now, I have made so many mistakes building. I'm, this is my third fish room, maybe, uh, from moving. And I did not follow any of my rules for fish room building. Um, and I've done this every single time, every single fish room I've ever built. I've started out with as many tanks as I can get. And then I slowly take out all the 10 gallons and add like 140. So much and better. I, and I start combining, I'm like, it's too much. And I did it again. And so now we're in the process of like combining Green. all these yeah. like hundreds of 20 gallon tanks I have into 40 gallons, the 20 longs into 33 longs. It's so much easier to maintain larger tanks. That is one thing that I remember learning that early on that like it's the, you know, the old adage of it's so much easier to balance, keep the water balanced in a 40 than it is a 10. Like it's just easier. It's easier to do. There's more room for error. Plus you can just have, I feel like the fish do so well with like other, I mean, other fish and like more biotope esque. I say that always because it's never a strict biotope, but I really try and layer tanks. And I think that's what we've been trying to do is layer the tanks appropriately that they still spawn. Like the fish are still spawning in these community tanks because they don't have other species that are directly like them to compete with. So it's like, we try and keep each species. There's a schooling fish, there's quarries there, you know, there's all different types of fish in these tanks and it seems to work well because they spawn a lot of the time. So and in addition to that, when I was building this fish room, Mitchell uh, Broom even was like, no, 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 no. I was like, I'm going to have all these tanks. I'm going to be breeding all these fish. He's like, you're going to need so many tanks for all the fry. You're not even able to do it. And I was like, I, I'll do it. And now I'm just like, eh. I don't listen to my own rules. I don't listen to other people. Like, And that guy is obviously like a master breeder, knows everything. And i like, why would I not listen to him? Because sometimes you just got to find out for yourself. Five so times now I'm going to have probably... 30 20 gallon tanks <laughs> just sitting in storage i'm not gonna Does get rid of them. anybody need any 20 gallons? no i'm not getting rid of them Why? we're gonna keep all of because them? the price of glass just keeps That's getting more true. expensive and Ugh. every tank i've ever gotten rid of i'm like oh i wish i still had that tank yeah yeah i guess so. <sighs> you know how i, I am excited to get into things. 33 longs though i've never done a lot of work with 33 longs so. i am such a like I would love to have a bunch of 75s and 125s, but it's just not realistic. But a 40 breeder, man, there it's just, you can't really beat that. Like that just holds such a good amount of fish and hardscape and plants. It's can't go wrong. Something fishy going on here. Always. I love bag juice in Jamaica. What? <laughs> that sounds New fun. friend says, well, shoot, I accidentally installed racks and 925 gallon tanks. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll be okay. You'll survive. Yeah. Yeah, thirty-three longs are nice. Yeah, Emily, I need you to see if you have one in stock in the in the uh, in the store because there's none in stock here, and I need one. I need one, and I will come down next weekend for one of those for sure. Definitely do not have six presently empty tanks. I picked up cheap in anticipation of MTS. <laughs> That's you know, if you have the opportunity, I always would buy tanks on OfferUp or Craigslist or wherever when I saw, even if I knew I had nothing for it because. Where am I going to find? I got a the largest Exoterra they make, which is a 36 by 18 by 36, and it was 180 bucks. And I'm like, why would I not get this? I don't even care if I had nothing to put in, and I'm going to keep it until I do. So, and it's never long once you have them before you have something to fill them up with. So, it'll be fine. Uh, Jose says, didn't Aquion or something stop making 33 longs a few years ago? It was a lot of distributors stopped carrying them, but they still make them. And there's also a new manufacturer called Masters. Aquarium Masters is like the new mm. manufacturer and they make 33 long. I need some 30 gallon breeders. Well, I need, I need one 30 gallon breeder. Um, but honestly, I have a couple 55 gallon tanks and I might just lop the tops off of them and make them 33 longs. I don't know. But yeah, 33 longs are so <laughs> fun. I've got a couple of species of gobies that I want to put in there. And uh, I don't know. They're just a good time. Ooh. 40 longs are also really cool too. 40 longs are like perfect for rainbow fish. 40 long is a really, really fun size too. I miss the old eight foot long, 110 gallon. Yeah, that's sweet. I know I had one and I sold it like an idiot. Super sweet. Length is, I'm all about, I like, I don't need height. You know what I mean? Give me that length. It's, well, the, the eight foot 110 is like two fifty fives. It's so perfect. It's It's really cool. Talk about it. It's such a good tank to like farm plants. Because you only need one, like, it's so narrow, you only need one light. Mm-hmm. 
We're on like a 40 breeder. Generally, you need two lights. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Paid $30 for a 10 gallon at PetSmart today. Oof. Oh my God, I'd punch someone in the face. Like, that is too much. I do like that PetSmart is finally doing the half off sales. Yes. Yeah, well, they're owned by the same company. And they're so like, alter they like alternate, at least here. So it's we can always usually get money. a tank of half off at one of the two places. Yeah, I don't drink milk either. It's disgusting. I love raw milk. I don't like milk that you buy in the grocery store is not milk. It's so like watered down and disgusting. But raw milk is so good. Mm, I can drink it forever. And goat milk. Oh, I love goat 50 milk. 50 gallon low boys are cool. Uh, I got bored of mine so fast. You can't. You, it'd be good. For They're like, just too wide. They take up too much space. I feel like the reason they exist are for frag tanks. That's like what they make the most sense for. Setting up one of those 20 longs for these mollies, which I still haven't caught. <laughs> My oldest chose them, and I am not best pleased with them. I'm going to stab you. <laughs> I have a knife in my hand. You do have a knife in your hand. <laughs> I so care. But don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Oh, that's true. Although 18-foot rule applies, so I would be dead. Yeah, that's also true. I'm setting up one of the 20 longs for the mollies, which I still haven't I caught. I read that. I know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe See you stab me. what I deal me. with? <laughs> just, is that what you want? <laughs> Do you want me to be? Hmm. Uh, 440 longs. So that's the best size. Really good size. But so I have my rack of 12 10 gallons uh, that I'm going to keep. But the bottom the bottom uh, uh, level, I can take four 10 gallons out and put a 30 breeder there. And that's why I want a 30 breeder, uh, especially because I shattered one of the tanks last week. That was fun. I saw it. I saw it happening. I was like, <laughs> ah, and then it happened. <laughs> So I had my little rolly chair in the fish room, and I was filming, and I rolled back a little too far. I tried to. And I it. heard crack, and I was like, mm. We got, it was cool, What though. was in there? Any, um, oh, there's like three quarries. Yeah, was it was really easy. We just pulled them out. It didn't break. That was the um, amazing thing is it cracked this huge crack, and nothing, like, it was like drip, and we got everything drained. Because it's 10 gallons. It was fine. I mean, I'm to the point in my life with fish keeping where, like, 10 gallons breaking. It's like, oh, whatever. There's 10 gallons of water on the floor all the time anyways. What does it matter? It does not. I used to milk goats. Well, I have nipples. Can you milk me? <laughs> uh, them bitches are smart. Threatened to kick over the bucket <laughs> if they That's ran funny. out and cracked corn in the feeder while oh, milking. Oh, because they wanted to get... Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're like, I'm done. That was just a really weird sentence to read. I like I that, though. I could see them. I could see them being very. Well, I know goats are smart. My friend has goats. They're very smart. Uh, Kenny says I have a five-gallon glass bottle. I'm not sure if I want to do shrimp or dwarf or better. I would do the shrimp or dwarf crayfish. That'd be cool. I mean, plant it up. Just get that thing loaded with plants and shrimp. Mm -hmm. I you love could do. The way that looks. I mean, you could do shrimp and dwarf crayfish because generally they get along just fine. Okay, I have to say this before I forget because I guarantee I'm going to forget. Emily, if you guys ever want to get rid of that big, so when you walk in at the Cichlid Exchange, that big, like, glass ball tank you guys have in the front, I want that I so I think that's bad. Cameron, so good luck. Oh, is it Cameron's? Jeez. I really want, every time we go in, I'm like, oh, I want that. So I want it. I can always find Where smaller would ones. Where put it? Don't, does it matter? I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll, okay. I'll make it work. I really want it. I don't know why. Like I want to. Or I, I go to the thrift store all the time. I can find smaller ones, but I can never find one that size. I used to have one that was about half that size, but that size is amazing. So if if anybody, whoever's it is, ever wants to get rid of it, let me know first because I want it. Ooh. What are you? What's happening? What? Oh, I, oh! <laughs> I thought you're handing it to me. No, just. Uh, it's Cameron's, but we could probably get you one that big at a discount. Oh, are they like, I? to me, I just thought it was like some random find of somebody. So she has some at the store. What? Oh, that's cool. So that. one of your bosses, Emily, did offer a 33-gallon long to me last time we were there. Oh. Um, not like to give away, but um, at a discount. They said that there was one in the store. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. There was one. Yep, yep, yep. How many gallons is it? Got it. Looks like it's probably like 15. I don't know. What would it? Full? Maybe 10, 15 gallons? Bob, you can build her a room for it. If she finds her perfect tank, don't be a fun sponge. We we just have to... She uh, just got a whole room, so... Oh, okay. She just decided to fill it with reptiles. Well, 
<laughs> they had to go somewhere. So right? we have a fish room and a reptile room. Yeah. And we're, we're going to do, uh, we're still working on a couple of reptile tanks, but once that's done, then we'll do a, uh, a video of the reptiles. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it'll only be for members, though, because Sorry, uh, YouTube up. really hates reptiles on fish channels. I don't know why, which, because reptiles do so well in general. Well, it's in their little niche, but like, it's still. Every time I've done a reptile video, Plus, my channel's been punished I'll for months. I'll be honest, months. we have some really cool reptiles. Like, we don't just have weird, like. Re if someone would just start their reptile channel I'm already. I'm working on it. Would you guys watch my reptile channel? I'm feel I'm still convinced that nobody cares, and I'll be the only one watching my videos. Like I think that's gonna be, but I still love watching my own reptiles. That's the great part. They're that cute, and they're we have a lot of skinks. <laughs> what? Look at Nancy's comment. What did she say? She's always the best. Oh my god. <laughs> sponge worthy. Are you sponge worthy? Yeah, that was what Elaine was always talking about. <laughs> <laughs> like when she's going through. So you're going to trim the sideburns, right? I'm going to trim the sideburns. I'm going to trim We've the sideburns. We've been uh, binging Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh, I love Curb so much. It's so good. Oh, my God. Nancy B sounds like Elaine. <laughs> so I'm going to be honest. Like my, I think I've mentioned this before. My best friend's family, and there's been an ongoing Seinfeld text between four of us and my best friend's family for like years and years and years. And where we just randomly send different memes, pictures, sayings from Seinfeld. That's like the whole thing. It's amazing. It is amazing makes me very happy I have to uh some dude what's up buddy says hey bob i placed my first dance fish order it was the order with m fascianus's sombre oh I, I saw that order and neon tetras they were short on some so i got five uh Afinis pagua that's cool i saw that order and i was like ah oh, someone's getting rainbows that makes me happy i'm starting to miss rainbows so i know he said that there's so many, like, I was a rainbow nerd for so long when there was only, like, 10 species of rainbows available. Mm -hmm. And now as soon as I stopped keeping rainbows, now there's, like, 100. See, that's good, because now you have something to be reinterested in, so that's exciting. Am I drinking yak? I don't know what that is. Ugh. Please, reptile channel. I'd watch it. I really want to learn about reptiles, so start okay. your freaking channel. Oh, and Emily, if you want to learn about reptiles, next time I'm there, I could. I've kept fraud. I've kept everything: amphibians, reptiles, inverts. I've had. I've run the gambit over the years. So if you have any questions or anything, I loved. I love talking about fish. I do, but reptiles, like there, I feel like there's a lot more that they require. So. Uh, well, and you know, there's something about them being more personable too. They like, are. It's hard little, to be personable with a fish, right? And and the reptiles, obviously some of the bigger fishes you can do it, but. And we have reptiles that are like the tegu. She's smarter than I am. Like I watch her little brain moving all the time, and to have something that size that's like if she's gonna be able to. I can walk her on a leash pretty soon, and I plan on it. Like she's getting to that point, and I just think that things you can keep like that that aren't cats or dogs have. Always, it's fascinating. So I think a lot of the stuff that I have, like that I've had and that we've acquired. It's different and interesting enough <laughs> that people should know about it. My ex said no frogs, so he is gone. Frogs are in my future. Who would never say no frogs? Like, yeah, that's it's absurd. Pretty, it's pretty stupid. Uh, yak is soybean. I don't do soy. So, no, I'm definitely not drinking yak. Yeah, I never get tired of Seinfeld either, Nancy. Cause it's, and Curb's the same way. Like, I'm, I'm like, laugh like an idiot because I'm just like, oh, my God, even though I know all of this. It's so funny. I love Larry and Kirby. Like, that's who we are. Like, no, it, it's literally we both go, oh, my God. I realize that when I go, okay, that's from Curb. Like, and, I'm, and I forgot for years. Where did I get that from? Like, why do I even say that, that Larry David? That's why. I've only had one leopard gecko and I had to surrender him because I couldn't get him healthy after a food strike and oh. power outage. So that is that is the one thing I really don't like about reptiles. Like, yeah, you just look like at them the wrong way and they'll be like, OK, I'm going to starve myself to death. I'm done. I will say this. If you're planning on get if, if you haven't kept them and you're planning on getting into them, what I would do before you even get them is see if you have a, an exotic animal vet in your area and be prepared to use them if you need to, because they're going to need it at some point. I'll be honest with you, a veiled chameleon of ours in my family cost thousands and thousands of dollars at UC Davis because she became egg bound. We did everything right. You know what I mean? Like but my family was willing that even though it was their kids who had the pets, they were willing to spend the money. And, and it, even sometimes when you do that, they're still going to die. That's it's really can be heartbreaking, but they're so rewarding, too, that and there's so many species that they don't ever talk about. I don't get why everybody just talks about like blue tongue skinks and ball pythons and leopard geckos. And it it's makes, the same thing in the fish world. Yeah, like there's so is. many like everyone's like, oh, neon tetra, all, like all these. Yeah. Pet mart, pet, pet smart, petco fish. And that's right. 
I'm really enjoying the our own content lately because like I've gotten so many comments like I that of people are like I love that you do fish that no one else does mm-hmm. or fish that I've never heard of. I mean on on the the nano fish video I did someone commented like finally someone who's not doing all the same man I swear like yeah go on YouTube look at nano fish and like watch the videos it's gonna be like cherry shrimp it's gonna be Always. chili rasboras it's every gonna time. be rocket kill it's like all the every same time. every that's the same thing. Peacock gudge. Oh, it's always the same. So it's nice to be able to, like, I'm, we're trying to get some variety. Like, there's more out there. Yeah. There's a lot of fish out there, folks. The only stuff I've liked to keep for many years, reptile-wise and fish-wise, is stuff that I don't see other people keeping. Like, I went out of my way. Like, I kept a pink tongue skink because I was like, I'm so sick of blue tongue skinks. I'm finding a different color tongue. <laughs> I found a pink tongue skink. And I remember... Unfortunately, I had to get I had to rehome some things when I moved and my pink tongue sink. I remember there were I took it to a really trusted reptile place that I went to regularly and they were like, we've never even seen one of these in real life. Like stuff. I've always gone out of my way to keep weird stuff because I think it's way more interesting. We've done it all. And if we can find stuff that hasn't been, that's why I'm, I'm really getting into a lot of different types of inverts because that's like the final frontier, really. Uh, Johnny says, what is my take on no filter aquariums? Um, I have no problems with them. I've done them. I think it works. It's not something I would ever like recommend to like a new or even a somewhat seasoned aquarist. Um, but it's, I don't think it's a problem. Like I, I think there's many ways to be successful in this hobby. So I'm not like, I'm not one of these people that are like, it's my way or the highway. There's too many of those people out there already. I don't know if I'd do one, but I think I've (sighs) seen it done well. So, um, yeah, like, I mean, you gotta have flow. Like, so I I don't know, like, I'm not a fan of just setting up a tank, putting water and having stagnant water. Like at least if you're not gonna do a filter, at least put in a power head. Right. Because circulation is very important. Yeah. Uh, Jose, I have to be honest with you, even though I like that you say reptiles require too much for <laughs> your cheap, lazy ass, because at least, you know, you know what I mean? Most people get reptiles regardless of knowing all those things. And then they just let them die and they wait and it's horrible. So good on you for knowing that you don't want to deal with it because you're absolutely right. Being Maybe able to all those things. self-evaluate oneself it's huge. That's a is good very on important. And many people have too many ego issues to be able to yep. do that so it's very important to I accurately knew, assess yourself like with my tegu i knew like it's okay to have an animal that you're intimidated of sometimes but it's not okay to have an animal that you're gonna neglect because of that if that makes sense you know what i mean you can't you can be intimidated you can be a little scared sometimes while you're learning but you cannot neglect and i feel like that happens all the time where people aren't willing they're like oh this light's good enough this food's good enough it's not good enough Unless it's going to be the best of the best of the best with honors, it is not good enough for these animals. Don't get them if you're not willing to do it. Oh, and I like M. Myers. I love reptiles. That got me into keeping fish. I think a lot of fish keeping and reptile keeping keepers hand in hand. Same thing. Like one or the other. Okay, we're going we're gonna to make this official. What? How do I do this? I don't know. A fish. Oh, get it. <laughs> Oh boy. I I think there's wait a minute, I missed something. Um uh, another another Leo. Oh I've had hog nose, I love hog nose. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> another poll, huh? Another poll. I feel like I'm back at work. I'm having like PTSD. Talk about getting engagement. Here we go. Should I say no to my own? <laughs> Some people are saying no. Screw you, Chelsea! Thanks a lot, jerks! Kick rocks and your stupid (laughs) reptiles. Leave! No, I'm just kidding. Please don't. (laughs) Don't leave. It's okay. You can hate me. I don't mind. Um, (laughs) Why is the audio so low? Did you fix it? It's not low. Oh, everyone's saying that it is. No, one person said it's low. Two people. I've now seen two people say it. And Ginger says, my audio is oddly good and usually I'm the one with issues. You guys, your audio might be low yourselves. Well, you have been talking kind of quiet sometimes. Sometimes I've had to do that. Yeah. Get back in the yellow. Okay, I'm going to go away. Close poll. Go away. Um, Hognose are amazing. I love hognose. I'd like to keep <laughs> hognose again. Who are the nose? They're going to be on the list. Yeah, you're on my list now. I don't even know who you are, but I will figure it out. Okay? I will figure it out. And Caitlin, I think it depends. Who said to get a male reptile? It really depends on the species as far as females and males go with personality. 
But I got, I have a female tegu and I got her because she's slightly smaller than the males. And I just was like, why not <laughs> save myself a little bit there, you know? Not the least. Ooh, those keel, yes, those keeled rat snakes are beautiful. Oh my God, I love those. I'm a big fan of bull snakes too. And I really was flirting with the idea of getting a false water cobra because there was a local, one of the shops locally bred them and they just, oh my God. Oh, they're so pretty. Love them. Good. And live vicariously through any type of animal channel. That's the great thing is you mm -hmm. can live vicariously. And you know but I really appreciate you saying that, honestly, because not enough people recognize when they're unwilling because they're so tempted. And I, 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 I get so angry. So, like, good on you again for that. Oh, Ross hit. No, that's a disappointment. Come on, Ross. Ross? That's a Ross thing to do if I've ever I seen a Ross I was saying thing nice things about you the other day. Don't make me take it back. All right? Oh, I know you're joking. You'd never do that to me, right? Or do, I guess, maybe they're trying to do me a favor so I don't have to do all the work. Although I already take, I'm like one of those freakish people where I get in my phone to find a video and there's lizards, like for <laughs> hundreds of pictures of lizards. I'm like, don't, don't mind those. It's fine. Oh, Boland's pythons are dope, yeah. Dope. Yeah, false water cobras water are cobras amazing. Are super cool. Yeah, they get huge. But see, I love I I'm a big proponent of large reptiles. Like I don't like super huge fish, but I love big reptiles. My dream as a kid, I begged my mom, I wanted a monitor. And I didn't at that point know what kind, but I wanted a huge one that I could walk on a leash. And my mom's like, Chelsea, the best you're getting is like I got I had chameleons, I had all kinds of other I had everything but and i was heartbroken so i told myself one day one day i will be walking a lizard on a, a leash that day is soon how many people are in this stream let's look good question 90 people only started, 33 I'm, people cared to vote thanks guys what a bummer you hate Go me. why do you hate me it, it was Rude. overwhelmingly yes i know so get your channel art get your get your uh yeah. name ready that's another thing is I don't know what my name, I have no idea what to name. Because when I see people's, I'll be honest with you. When I see some of these channel names, I'm like, really? That's the best that you can do? And yeah, I don't like want. like Steamfot Aquatics. Steam <laughs> Whose name is Steamfot? What a stupid <laughs> name. Stupid. Uh, I have to write it all the time now. So I really make fun of these names. And I know somebody is going to inevitably look at mine and go, what a dumb channel name. And I'm just trying to like negate that as much as possible. <laughs> How do I make that not happen? I don't know. It's impossible anymore. Yeah, I know. Everybody's pissed off about something, so. I should have it be steam fought reptiles. <laughs> like, or steam fought exotics. Just branch on to uh, what's already existing. Try and ride I your I voted. I'm not even interested in reptiles. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it, Robert. Uh, Matt says, I love that you talk about obscure species of fish, and Chelsea's love for reptiles has changed my perspective on them. Considering a paludarium. <gasps> Do it! It, mm -hmm. Do it! Oh my God! I can th I can think of several species that you could easily keep in there that would be just oh, so cool together. Reptiles are, I love them dearly. They really are special. Steam fart. <laughs> Call it the leaking lizard. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, God. I don't know. I've I've played around with ideas. That's really what's keeping me from taking the plunge because it's not. I believe me. There's plenty of content there because I t I sit in there and stare at these guys all day long a lot of the time already has thousands of hours of video i do like good video too they're hilarious the skinks are hilarious like if right you want... that that's what i told her like i i'm not trying to be like an egomaniac here but i'm like i've already got an established you know, audience if you bad, start your though. channel you're gonna get a bump automatically i have never and i'm gonna be honest this is real talk i have never been somebody who has is not real? worked for what i had and so i feel real bad talk? like ta like taking anything or even thinking that i'm getting something because of someone else like i don't know i just feel weird about it but if people are interested then yeah because i think i could impart some information that might be helpful like how to sex emerald tree skinks people like i've had it baffles my mind that people that call themselves breeders can't sex these things but i can that's why i'm like maybe i should start a channel like, geez, this is crazy. Ooh, someone got in trouble. Uh, is got my loaded. channel name dumb? I don't think it. Well, Wait, who I shouldn't said say that? that, Ross. Um, what is it? I'm sure it's his name. No, it's Ross not dumb. Baltimore. Then it's not dumb. Um, have, I've seen a lot of dumb channel names, but I <sighs> tell you, what. they're usually from people that don't take it seriously. Yeah, that's true. So it's whoa. So it doesn't even matter. 
I will t- see what I'll take seriously is the information I'm getting. You guys could just do both channels together, and that's what it would be. No, yeah, it would be yeah. bad. Yeah, I'm not doing it by myself, like <laughs> completely by myself. Someone's got to edit it. Okay. Okay. Lots of lizards. That's it. I don't want to. Here's the thing. It's not going to be just. Uh, it's inverts. It's. It's she really all kinds of reptiles. I, I'm going to have a lot of bugs, and I'll be honest. We're out of room, so I have to get bugs because I can keep bugs in small containers happily and comfortably so that's the plan i want more mantises i'd really like so there's something called peru phasma shultii everybody go look up peru phasma shultii and tell me it's not the coolest stick insect you've ever seen in why your don't we just look life. it up and show look them. it up and show them so that's what my i'd love to get my hands on one of these i found a source they're really expensive it's peru just like peru and then p-h-a-s-m-a peru phasma it's all one word p-h ASMA, Shultii. There you go. These things, I tell you what, I will have these soon. I'm going to figure out a way. So this is the kind of stuff I want to start keeping more of because you just don't see it as much. And I think this stuff's crazy interesting. And, and people are normally creeped out by this. I had to sway so many people to not, like, kill bugs when I was young. Like, I had to really defend these guys. So I feel like as an adult, I could do the same thing. They don't get enough love. Look, they're so cool. Freaking amazing. Uh, we do have dairy cow ice pods, Emily. Uh, they've been breeding like crazy. Yeah, um, do you want some? <laughs> she asked if we wanted some of hers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but that's how dairy cows are. I mean, you have them. Same thing with the powder oranges and the powder blues. They just they just go crazy. Oh, duh. I knew that. I knew that. It's Aquatica 87 Heaven. That's what it is. I knew that. Huh? Ross's channel. It's Aquatica 87 Heaven. I did know that. I actually mm. did know that. I don't know what I was thinking. I swear I'm like brain dead today. I can't. I don't know what my deal is. Chelsea's Pets is good for the algorithm. Seen Fod Exotics seems like a nice complimentary channel. I was going to say, I also need to know, like, is there something that should, like, I don't know how any of that stuff works because I just don't care. One so thing I would I not. Have to. So I would never, like, if someone was asking me advice on starting a channel, one thing I would say is I would never do something for the algorithm. Like, whoa, here comes the sun right in my face. Um, oh, wow. I think, Those like, you're already going to get that when you're making videos. You're going to be like, okay, you're, are you already going to be, like, just overcome with algorithm crap? And it, it really drains you if that's what you concentrate on. And it, it makes you shift focus from the animals to YouTube. And that's when you and you see it like people start their channels and they have all these good intentions and then it slowly shifts to like algorithmic stuff and and you can see like a shift and I don't blame them like I've done it you know uh, you you have to play the game you sell out because you have to but you don't you don't have to do it from the start I mean there's really like one of the channels I watch is just called the boring channel. Do you know, do you know that yeah. one? Like, so if you went and asked somebody, what do you think, what kind of content do you think is on a channel called The Boring Channel? <laughs> no one would ever guess because it it's it's just a guy who goes around and mows people's lawns for free. And he's got like two or three million subscribers and the name is The Boring Channel. Nothing to do with lawns, nothing to do with lawn care, nothing like that. So I, I really don't think that there's that one guy with like five or six million subscribers who's just a... Like he literally just went mashed his keyboard and that's the name of his channel and he's got like five million subs. Now, would you grow faster? Probably, but again, like you just you can't spend too much time worrying about the algorithm because it really takes away from what you're trying to do, in my opinion. I have some ideas that I've thrown around. I like Latin names, but I think that'd be confusing for people. So that was what I thought of. I was like, I could do something like a qu- like something in Latin, but then people are going to be like, I don't know how to say that. What is that? <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. Mrs. Steenforium's Magic Raptorium. That's really funny. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. I thought I was trying to like, because my, I mean, creatures is a good word, but then so many people do the same stuff. And that's what makes me go, what? Maybe it should just be my name because like, it's annoying that it's like, it's a uh, uh, critter creature. Everybody does it. And it's like, eh, Chelsea's it's creepy crawlies. I had, so it's funny because I had creepy crawlers when I was a kid, the like little you know, from Toys R Us. Got it for Christmas. I was devastated because when I went to make my first batch of creepy crawlies, it broke. Oh, I went on the wrong one here. What I am I doing? I was very upset. I'd rather look at fish. I remember when I started this channel, Corey's like, don't do steam fun. Don't put aquatics in the name. Like, 
He's like, at least put aquariums. Like, no one searches aquatics. And it's true. Who's, who's yeah. ever entered in pool, aquatics? People who are looking for pool stuff. And there's like five billion fish channels with the word aquatics in it. Yeah. And I realize it sounds better than aquariums. And that's what he said. Like, obviously, it sounds better. But It'll no be one's searching that. And I'm just like, I, I can't do aquariums. I just can't. And I don't know if I had to do it over again, I wouldn't even put my name in there because I would have something completed. completed yeah. So completed. I, I got to figure out a name here. I got to figure that out. If anybody has any good suggestions, please let me know. <laughs> Cause I have no idea. Uh, Emily says, if you try to friend me on Facebook, I probably won't accept it. I don't accept friends requests either. Uh, if you're interested in my personal fish, you can DM me, but don't DM me for Westbot info. You should email orders at Westbot at tropical at dot com at something. I don't know. Yeah. Something so if you add me on Facebook, don't get offended. I don't even look at those anymore. Uh, I am so anti Facebook. I have my Facebook group. So if you want to get in touch with me, uh, that's the only places I go on Facebook are Facebook Marketplace and my group. That's it. It's the only thing I do on Facebook. I don't even have Facebook. I don't even know what goes on. on Facebook. I have lost members. I have lost subscribers. I have lost people from just simply not accepting them on Facebook. And it what a my mind. weird thing. I know. Like, I'm so not like that that it's like, who cares? That's so stupid. Like, Well, I did the unfortunate thing when I first started. I was like, I accepted everybody. I was just like, oh, yeah, look at all that. I'm, I'm growing. Quality over quantity. Buddy. And then it was like all this weird stuff started happening. I started getting stalkers and I started getting like people like looking up my family members. That's weird. And I was like, ah, everybody's gone. And I deleted like everyone. That's so weird. Like, yeah. Who I don't, I don't, uh, honestly, like, <laughs> I don't know who's safe and who's not. Zen. <laughs> Chelsea's got the herps. <laughs> That's the best. Mm -hmm. That's the best. And everybody else can just stop right now. That not for me, though. <laughs> <laughs> Clean. Well, thanks. <laughs> God, I appreciate that. That's lovely. I'm glad you appreciate that I'm clean. Oh my god, I can't. This is this is going down a weird road. I don't know about this. I don't want to go down this road. I don't yeah, Facebook became such a cesspool of BS so long ago that I opted out many years ago. And now Instagram sucks too, so I hardly yeah, ever post on Instagram now. Yeah, but see I refuse to TikTok, I refuse to do all that. I'm just not friggin' doing it. Like I don't care if that's the way to grow, I get it, because people on TikTok it can blow you up faster than anything. Like if I was to do TikTok, I feel like it probably and and do YouTube like it'd probably be better for me, but I'm I don't that's a level that I don't know if I'm willing to stoop to. Like Something fishy says, My trust and respect for other live streams have been dissolved after witnessing counter comments being removed. Uh, I hope we can all do better. Oh. Yeah, egos become a real big thing in YouTube. Why is it not okay to be wrong? Like, everyone's wrong sometimes. I'm going to be wrong a lot. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've deleted comments, but it's when I've when I've been corrected, but it's from people who do it in a nasty way. Like, oh, the things I'm they all say about can constructive be really criticism. Yeah, it's just but not a good vibe. Don't, just don't be rude. Um, Ryan has a good quote. What do we feed our cribs? Uh, the only thing his eats right now is brine shrimp. Um, so I feed, we feed ours bug bites a lot of the time. They get some frozen foods too, but the main food that they get most of the time are bug bites. So here's the thing. Our fish get fed at least twice a day. Yeah. So Chelsea goes in in the morning, turns everything on, feeds everything. I go in at night to feed everything and turn everything off. She feeds bug bites in the morning. I do a little variety, but mo mainly like 80% of the time I'm feeding the extreme, what is it? Crumbles. Mm -hmm, extreme crumbles. crumbles. It's like nice 60, crumbles. it's like 55 or 60% uh, protein. And I, I, I'm not even joking. When I feed it to my orange lasers, they spawn every time. Every time I'll get eggs. A lot of same them with, really like the crumble. Same with my black Venezuelans. If I give them a bunch of crumble, I'm going to get eggs the next day. It's almost, it's mm -hmm. almost a guarantee. If I feed them anything else, I don't get eggs. So it's really bizarre. Certain fish definitely have their favorite food, but I think as long as you're feeding a high quality food, that's what's that's most, the most important. important thing. And what they like, because I've said this many times, I've had a fish turn their nose up at stuff and look at me like I was an idiot. So, <laughs> you know. Oh, Emily, you're supposed to start a wet spot fish TikTok. Ugh, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to dance and do stuff and like act like you're punching. It's people not even when you're not. dancing. They just look like they're spazzing. They just go, oh look, I'm fake punching. It's just the every time I see it, I'm like, ugh, because so many videos it's on Instagram. So, and they're, they're like, when they fake. 
It's like, what is that? Like, someone call for medical help. We should make a video like that. It's the worst thing in the entire world. I, when they, like, the fake, like, fighting is the, I'm like, you guys look like NPCs and not good ones. Like, it's really bad. It's really bad. Oh, yeah, I bet you've had to become a TikTok expert, Matt. Well, I get it. It's one of those things where, like I said, I'm sure if I was willing to TikTok it up, I'd probably have an easier time, but... I just don't think I can handle it because people bug the hell out of me. So I have very little tolerance for that type of stuff. I have, I've rage quit Instagram like four times or something like, like multiple times because I'm just like, I can't handle, I can't handle it. It's why I have like, I used to have an account that had a lot of followers and I had a lot of, I, a lot of good content and I've like just deleted everything. Cause I was like, I hate all you people. <laughs> like it's just so bad. It's so bad. What fish is what zodiac sign? Yeah. Instagram is the platform I use the most, I guess. Got lots of interest in setting up. I don't think there's, I don't think, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a TikTok expert, but I don't feel like it gives you enough tools to like build a community. That's and I true. think YouTube really lacks on that too. And I, I think that is like the main driving factor of Facebook for me is that Facebook is in my opinion the best for building a community because it's so it's just so like you start a Facebook group and it's so easy to post and to talk to people um, like the community tab and YouTube is useless it is absolutely useless and uh, Instagram's for uh, selling stuff now as far as I'm concerned yeah Instagram is all about ads ads mm -hmm. ads ads they want to sell you stuff they want to sell you products that are pyramid schemes or whatever I don't know critters and slithers all of these see I, and these are all good names, but I'm like, I everything I see is critters or creatures or some type. And so I'm trying to think of like what can. That's why I was starting to look at like Latin versions of these names because I'm like, okay, at least that would be kind of different. But then it's weird and no one will know what it is. So I might just have to be basic, which makes me want to vomit in my mouth. But I don't know. We'll see. I miss forums too. Forums were really ruined by the fish police back in the day. Um, and there's really, in my in my opinion, there's only like one good forum left, and that's the co-ops forum because it's heavily moderated, so you don't get the fish police Such in there. Crap, yeah. But I mean, forums they need to be heavily uh, an active forum needs to be heavily moderated. Yeah, a million views on YouTube is way more valuable than on TikTok. Like TikTok, you'll always see. I love that people post the stats because I'm like, your TikTok views really like yes, they're always millions more, but it's because it think of all that? the people on there. What is it doing? It keeps losing focus. Oh yeah, I've noticed that. What happened to Reddit it used to be a toxic cesspool and now it's all these communities with helpful information. I find Reddit to be helpful like 60% of the time. Like a lot of times I do find helpful information on Reddit and then the other 40% I'm like, what is this trash? I tried to go to in Reddit for aquarium stuff and I would just oh, I for aquarium constantly stuff, yelled at. And I'm just like, I'm out of here. For other things though, I find it helpful, but not for any fish or reptile stuff. I guess Discord might be my strongest preference for community. I've, I've never gotten into Discord. I know it's pretty powerful for community stuff. I've just, I've never figured it out. I've never taken the time. Like I have a Discord and I did a half ass attempt and we were active for like three days. We were, a bunch of us were talking back and forth and sharing pictures and then I forgot about it because it's Discord and I hate it. <laughs> That's why, obviously. <laughs> I really, I, I don't like the user interface of Discord and I don't like... I don't like how the settings are done. Like there's, I, th I just think it'd be done a lot better and I think it'd be a lot more user friendly. I would have honestly never even started another Instagram account if it wasn't for a good friend of mine's husband passing away and I didn't know because I didn't have social media. Like I didn't find out because I didn't have social media and I was very upset and that's what prompted me to even join that crap again because honestly for a long time I had nothing at all and it was, a <laughs> it was nice. Like not having to, f I don't know, it was nice but when I go on Discord, I feel like an old man. I'm like, what's going on here? What is Hey kids, what's what is this happening? notification what for? What is this? And then I go into like a thread and there's like comments and replies and sub comments and stuff going over here and over there and I'm just like, ah, what's going on? I'm out of here. Too much. No, it's I too much. I am gone. But it uh, <sighs> I feel like if YouTube wanted to, they could really like they have the resources they can make that community tab so much better. I mean, for a long, for the longest time, you couldn't even reply to comments in the community tab. That's so, so like, I would though. post something and someone would ask a question, and I couldn't respond. I had to make a new comment, which means they're not getting notified. I was gonna say they wouldn't even know at that point. It doesn't make any sense. 
Oh, they're just so slow on everything. My thing is, is like, I would rather go sit in a room with fish and reptiles and stare at them and make my own videos that I watch than deal with any of this BS, to be perfectly honest with you. (laughs) Like, that's, I'd much rather look at real stuff in real life and live real life than like deal with 8,000 different social media platforms. Big money at TikTok right now if you have a shop. I believe that. Hey, Barbara. Barbara, just in time for us to go. In the nick of time, Barbara, in the nick of time. We have hit the one hour and 30 minute mark. Uh, You know, if I wasn't sick, I'd probably go longer, but I'm getting all congested and snotty and gross, so I'm going to call it a night. We made it an hour and a half, which honestly, I didn't even think I was going to make it an hour. Uh, So thanks, everyone, for coming by. Leo, thanks for the super chat. We really appreciate it. Lurkers, mods, everyone. Um, Click those affiliate links. Like I said, it really helps us out. At no additional cost to y'all. So if you're going to buy something anyways, just use the links, save a little money, and make us a little money. It helps out tremendously. Uh, Otherwise, we will see you again next Saturday, 5 p.m. Pacific. And uh, I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend and a good week to come. Bye, everybody. Go buy fish. I guess go buy buy fish. fish. No one ever tells me about it when they get new stuff. I guess go buy fish. And then tell me about it. And then tell us about it. I want to hear about it. We want to know. Game over. If only we had a community tab that would allow Where for that. Where I could respond to somebody. <laughs> That'd be nice. All right, everyone. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Bye. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. We got a quick question for anyone who's left here. Who's still left? Who's still left? I'm going to put up a poll. Oh, God, here we go again with another poll. Okay, I'm going to put up a poll because we, really? we, were, we were just talking about this, so don't go anywhere Hold here. tight. Hold tight. Hold, Hold tight. on. Come on back, folks. Hold on. Um, start a poll. Oh, I'm still... Ugh. <laughs> just playing with my knife over here. It's all good. We're coming back. We're coming back. Okay, here's the poll. Lies. I'm really curious what anybody has to say about this. I'm going to nap on the couch until my wife says bedtime. Your pre-bed nap? Always a good one. Yep. That's a... Oh, there we go. There's a no. It's the same person who told me not to do my reptile channel, you jerks. Ross? What are you hitting no You're for? You're dead to me, all right? Dead to me. I'm upset. George is getting upset. George is getting upset. I'm going to leave this poll running for a while. Yeah, I want, I'm curious. You guys have a good, uh, good weekend. Vote and head out. Yes, bye. Vote and head out. Thank you.